It's only sport with Martin Devlin on the platform. Brought to you by One New Zealand. Let's get connected. Neil Barnes joins us. Coach Barnes. Neil, congratulations, mate. What a win. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pleasing, isn't it, to be able to go down there. They're a freaking good team. So, log of wood on the line, it was awesome. What did it mean to you and the players, and how did you prepare differently for that game, given that trophy's on the sideline? Um, it's not like you spend all week talking about it. You don't have to, Marty. It's like the boys understand how special the day is, but we spent the bulk of the work a week concentrating on how we could be at our best because like, at the end of the day, we've got a fair bit of respect that we're playing the top team in the competition and an ordinary performance wasn't going to get us across the line. So, yeah, um, we respect the shield um, for what it means in this country and it obviously means a lot to the rural province especially, or I guess everybody, but, yeah, um, the players get themselves up for it, mate. They don't need me to get them up for a shield game. This isn't the first time that you've been involved, though. Was it different this time around for you? No, look, I've, well, I've been in plenty of challenges. I've only been successful twice, but one thing I've learned along the way, if you don't play and go out there to win it, if you just think you're going to play conservative rugby and hope, you'll never get there. So we went in there with the mindset that we were going to play and um, it came off pretty well. Look, I thought that was what was admirable, is that you went there, attacked, and as you say, tried to win the game and tried to score tries. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it, you need an all-round game. Um, Tasman are a very direct team and they normally dominate people carrying straight at them and through them um, so I was stoked with the way the boys defended for the bulk of the game and even more so the courage they had to continue attacking all the way to the finish you know, When they scored that intercept try to David Harvelli, what were you thinking right at that time? Do I have to be honest? Yeah I probably lost my shit <laughs> um, It was one of those spots in a game where you've got, I don't know it must be about 12 or 30 minutes to go and I think we're 12 points up where probably playing a bit more percentage rugby would have been a bit smarter but at the end of the day I 100% respect I sent the players out there to play the play was on and Harvey did a great read to get it so yeah you got to see it from both sides in the moment though I was pretty angry uh, Josh Jacob talk to me about him what a game he had I mean just so calm and composed yeah growing all the time isn't he and uh, that's what you have to be as a 10 so He's got very clear on the pitch that he needs to see um, to, to drive our game. But on top of that, he's actually a powerful runner in himself, his own right. So very pleased how he's travelling um, and obviously an asset to our team. You know, you've got to give them confidence, though, don't you, Neil? And and that's the thing. I mean, as you said, the boys know exactly w what is on the line, but they've actually got to go out there with the belief that they can chance their arm if they have to. Is that the message? Yeah, and we've, we're probably a bit more detail in our game than most, and that's a lot of work for the players. Um, so they've got the tools um, to actually create a little bit of doubt in the opposition's defence, and then it's up to the players um, to take it. So, yeah, pretty proud of their effort. Um, like I say, it takes courage at times because we didn't always get it our own way, um, and they came back at us, but they just carried on attacking. And when I thought the game was really, really tight, we put a very good try into them to put a bit of a gap on them again. Look, that, what do they call it, Storm Week, where you play three times in eight days. Wellington had it, of course. Their third one was that Shield Challenge. Tasman had it. It's just what it is, isn't it? But it, it does make it bloody tough. Um, if I'm honest, it's disrespectful um, to our competition and the Shield. Um, and all it takes is one more week to be added to our competition. Um, it shouldn't happen. Like I went and saw the Tasman coaches afterwards because I felt for them. Um, playing two Shield games inside a week um, on top of another game um, is not fair to them. They had a lot of people injured, the team's flat um, to our advantage, but we were there a week earlier, so yeah, I'd like to think um, this is our last one. Like, it's been three years and I've been banging on the door of NZRFU to get rid of it the whole time. Um, they want to be listening this year and I'm pretty sure there's um, plans underfoot to see the end and end to it it's only sport with martin devlin on the platform brought to you by one new zealand let's get connected